I'm back with another print and cut for Silhouette Cameo. I have the Cameo 4, so it should work on any of the Cameos and the new and improved portrait and the other portraits. I'm not for sure. I have the older portrait until I bought my Cameo 4 that I absolutely love it. But I'm going to explain what I'm doing today. So I got this blue line and I got this red line, and I'm going to show you why. This blue line is going to be my full cut, so it's going to cut out on the paper. And then the red line is going to be that kiss cut, so where it just cuts like a kiss cut sticker like you would on your vinyl and your sticker paper. So I have it set to two different colors. I'm pretty positive you can still do this on basic edition and up. I'm not for sure. I'm running designer on mine. So... I have it set to my default settings on my registration marks because no special project, default, leave it alone. So I'm going to go print, then print, then adjust my preferences because in my last video I had it set up for presentation matte paper for my heavy cardstock. So presentation matte. Set that to white, quality, standard, all that looks good, so push OK. So we're going to go over to my printer. Alright, so now we're at my printer, and before we get to it, this is the sticker paper that I use for my rough drafts and for like my cheap stickers that I want to do for myself or some family and friends. I think it's like 5 bucks, and you get 10 sheets of 8.5 by 11, and I've used this for almost a year now and it's amazing like my mom will get on to me about saying amazing again but I can't help myself let me see if I can find ah here we go so yeah the colors come out great with it like it's just paper it's not glossy or anything it's just regular paper that you use on printing labels but I swear by it. This is my favorite stuff to use. One, because it's cheap. Two, because it's cheap. And three, you get a lot of it for that price. Versus getting a Cricut brand, getting a Silhouette brand, getting a name brand. It's not laminate. It's not waterproof. It's just plain stickers of what I would use it for when I do my packaging. So, I already have a sheet in there. Make sure my printer's turned on. And push print. And this is my Epson Tank EcoForce 4700. Favorite printer. But another thing that I, some people forget with these printers is paper type does not match your settings. Please confirm. So we're going to push OK. Change settings, and it says, okay, your settings have been changed to match your printer, and print. All right, so that's done, so we're going to go back to the computer. Guys, I messed up a little bit, but that's fixed. I'm still learning this YouTube thing, so be patient with me. So we're going to go back to our sin or up to our sin screen and you see all our lines are red. We don't want that. So we're going to go up here into line. And then let's take a look and see look and see. Oh darn it. Okay. That won't be a big deal. I forgot to put a red line on these black lines for the image. I'm still learning like everybody else. You can judge me all you want, but please don't. Okay. So now we got to set the red line to kiss cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the red and go down to sticker paper. Sticker paper white. And then I always manually adjust my settings because force 14 sounds a bit high to me for a kiss cut with this paper. So I'm going to set that down to 10 and blade 2. 
And then the blue line is what I want to cut all the way through. So what I'm gonna set that at, I'm gonna set it to textured cardstock. All right, so that's set up. But now we're just gonna, normally what you could do if you're using another blaze, you could put a pause right here, but we're using the same auto blade, so we're gonna leave that be. So we're gonna make sure red's set the way I want it set up and blue is set up. That all looks fine and dandy and good. So we're gonna put our paper on our mat and I'm gonna show you guys the registration process and how that cuts. All right, so we're putting the mat in. Make sure the crossbar is up. My roll feeder drawer is out. Oops. We're gonna push thin. So it's gonna cut that red line and then it's gonna adjust the blade again and then it's gonna cut that blue line. So reading our registration marks. Right now it's going to cut the red lines on each one and then I'll come back to you guys when it's ready to cut, cut the blue lines. Alright, so it's done cutting the red lines, so it's readjusting the blade to how I have it set for the blue so it cuts all the way to through the paper. And that's on the offset blue line that we made. So I'll come back to you guys when that's all done. Alright, that looks like it's all done cutting. So what I always do is I just lift up a tip of my project and make sure that cut all the way through. And if it didn't, I can resend it for a recut. And it cut okay, didn't cut great, but I'm not too concerned about that because I should have used a lot, a light stick mat, but I used my standard because my light sticks are need to be restuck or I need to get new ones. So when you guys peel vinyl or sticker sheets from your standard stick mats. Peel the mat away from your project. That helps prevent any rippage, increasing and folding. Got a little rip right there, but that is the sticker backing. Should we use my light stick mat? I'm not too concerned because I know how to take them off the mat. Practice makes perfect, right? Here we go. Okay, so when they're stuck on the mat like that, I have this little tool right here. And I just try ever so gently pop it off um, okay there we go I'll just use my nails normally I would use that tool but I'm just going to use my nails and then I'll show you guys all of it when they're done peeling off this thing I'll be right back all right so I got those all peeled and cleaned up a little bit Friendly reminder to myself, I need to invest in new light stick mats because that was not fun. I honestly hate using my standard sticks, but I was in a bit of a pickle. So I'm like, well, hey, I'll just try to use my standard stick and I should have known better. Only use standard stick unless you have to. I always prefer to use my light stick mats, but... Like I said, they're not sticky at this moment. I've already tried to clean them and I have tried to, um, I had some of these cleaned up, re-stick them myself, but they're not sticky enough for my projects. They're sticky, but they still move around for the type of projects that I do. And I can't have that because in one of my videos you could see that it didn't stick down all the way and it ruined one of my stickers 
And I told the customer she was okay with it because there were stickers she was going to throw away anyways. But I lost money out of that. So I always wanted to make sure that my mats are sticky enough but not too sticky. And I've tried with the standard stick mats where it says, oh, put them on a piece of fabric and they'll help make them less sticky. Yeah, that doesn't work for me. I have a 15 pound fur ball cat. And in my household, we call it kitty glitter because his hair is everywhere you can possibly imagine. Like if you don't think there's cat hair somewhere, it's there. Trust me, I'm sorry. If you're near me and you see a piece of cat hair on me, just leave it alone. There's going to be more somewhere else. Like, I just bought a new car and it's leather interior and there's cat hair in it. How that's possible, I don't even know. Okay, here we go. Where'd my thank you card go? There it is. So, I got this customer order. What I always do is I always include a little thank you card that in there. Customer ordered some iron-ons for her puppers, which I hope one day I get to see. They're little wiener dogs, she says. And what she does is that she has little black hoodies for her dogs and she wants to put security on the back of them. So what I do is that I'm going to put a heat transfer vinyl sticker on there. Just instructions on how to do it when she gets home with these on Monday. And then, normally I have a thank you. But I think I'm just going to use another iron on and put it on there. And just like that. So that's how you do the two line colors for print and cut. So that way it's set up with a backing versus like my oops here has a backing so you can easily just peel it off when I throw it in my organizer. But there we are. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments down below. Feel free to like and subscribe. I try to put videos on here at least. I do, I think, maybe two or three on Saturdays if I have time. Because me, I always make time for my crafts. So if you see them pop up, I'm always doing some sort of tutorial for somebody. Or I'm trying to help out anybody with their cameo force that I can. And I'm not like one of the ones that hide all my imperfections, as you can tell. I like to show all my errors so that way you know I'm not a professional. You're not a professional yet. But we're in this together, alright? So you guys have a good weekend, and I'll try to post one more by the end of the day. Bye!